Now for the top story tonight, analysis of the changing political situation. First up, political guy Dick Morris joins us from Jackson, Mississippi. He is the purveyor, of course, of DickMorris.com. Very excellent political website. All right. So am I making any mistakes here? I think this is a power deal. If President Obama, and I'm, I'm sure you agree with this, is losing power, who is gaining that power? Well, uh, I th obviously the Republicans are, but l let's put the loss of his agenda or the loss of the ability to pass his agenda in an historical framework. Since 1900, I think there have been five periods in American history where a president could do what he wanted. Uh, in terms of domestic affairs. Woodrow Wilson, which was ended when he was uh, reversed in the midterm elections in 1914. FDR ended when he tried to pack the Supreme Court in 36. Uh, Lyndon Johnson in 64, it ended when he got too involved in Vietnam. Ronald Reagan in 81, it ended when he suffered reversals in the 82 election. And now Barack Obama. And that period of one year in which Obama could essentially pass anything he wanted ended on Tuesday. And it, is, it was a unique period in American history. It's only been basically one of five periods since 1900 where a president had that kind of power. Now I think that he's more like a traditional president who's going to have to horse trade and negotiate. But he's set up an environment and an atmosphere where he can't. Uh, he's so antagonized and so polarized this country and so irredeemably alienated the Republicans and the moderates and the independents that I don't think anybody will talk to him, much less cut deals But he with him. didn't do it. Now, as to power... Wait, wait, for, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold. He didn't do it because he hasn't been out there throwing the bombs. He let others do it. Pelosi, Reid, uh, the disgraceful pundits who prop up the Obama administration every night in the newspapers and on television. But he himself still scores 50 percent or higher on personal popularity in every poll. And I don't think Americans dislike him, but surely they dislike the liberal policies that he's embraced. So I think he could make a comeback. I don't think he's done after a year. But he's going to have to really shift it fast, just like Clinton did in 94. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I did it for Clinton, with Clinton in 95 and 96 and beginning in 94. And Obama could do the same thing uh, if he wanted to. Right, uh, if he wanted but to. But I'm not sure at all that he wants to. Uh, but why, the thing that made him let me, let, me, let me stop you again. <laughs> if, if he's lost an enormous amount of power, which I believe he has, do you believe he's lost power? Huge amount. Okay. So we're both on that. If he's lost power, if he's losing all the races, well, three statewide races that he's invested in, he's lost. If the health care thing is now gone, which it is, he's going to have to come back with another thing, and it's going to take another six months to a year. If all the liberal policies that he's embraced, terrorism, civilian courts for Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, if those are all vastly unpopular, which they are, you're going to tell me that President Obama is going to sit in the White House for three years, have the whole country refute him, the whole country reject him, and not do anything about it? I, I find that impossible to believe. Well, first, let me dial back on your speech. I don't agree with all of those assumptions. I don't think health care is dead. I wish it were, but I don't think it is. Uh, I right. think that well, let me stop you again. Last gasp, if Brown gets in there, through. Brown gets in there. And Brown's not going to go for it. They, they could filibuster it out. It can't get through. The Senate can't get through. It, ha it does not have to repass the Senate. All that has to happen is the House has to adopt the Senate version. And what's going to happen is the House members whoa, 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 will whoa, whoa. kick you, and you scream and say You believe that Pelosi what? won by three votes the last time. And you're telling me that you think Pelosi's going to either build on that this time? There's no way it's going to pass the House. She won by three votes last Bill, time. He didn't and they had all that. You're not going to do it this time. It's Bill, not they happen. didn't... Go ahead. The, uh, the, ostensible, the ostensible margin last time was 250 to 215, but that wasn't the margin. Uh, there were about 35 congressmen, Democrats, uh, who would have voted for the bill if they had to, just like in the U.S. Senate where they had to, Nelson and Lincoln and Landrieu and Lieberman all folded and voted for the bill. Uh, you had a few Democrats like Kucinich that would never have supported it or Gene Taylor from Mississippi. But for the most part, your average mainstream uh, freshman Democrat.
Democratic guy like Bright in Alabama or other congressmen like that, they're going to fall in line and vote for it if their votes are needed. Well, look, and what's going to happen I, is I'm the confused. liberals are going to say I, I, we want... Okay, look, I'm confused. I think the audience is confused. The Senate has to vote on it again because there is no bill. They're, that's what they're doing behind closed no. doors. Reid and Pelosi and all no. those other people are fashioning something that comes out. Okay, tell me where I'm wrong. I, I, I thought that was the case. You're, you're wrong. You're wrong. If the House chooses to, it can simply accede to the Senate version. Oh, okay, if the House... Pass the but Senate But that's not version. what they're doing, though. The how they're throwing in all... That's well, why they're behind the closed doors, Mars. What do you think they're behind... Now, maybe this, they'll change now that they know that they, they can't this, get through the filibuster. Maybe that's possible. Okay, now I got it. Go ahead. Yeah. There's a process that's going on where she had, Pelosi has to listen to all of the liberals and all of their kvetching and complaining about the Senate bill, has to load up a bill with all kinds of amendments, has to go over to the Senate, and Harry Reid has to tell her, I can't pass this. I can't pass anything. Right. Uh, all I can pass is what I've already passed. And then she goes back to her members and says, I'm sorry, I have to ask you to stuff it and just pass the Senate version. I don't think it's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I don't think but so. But that is the last bill that Obama's going to pass. All right. Well, that'll, that'll be the last bill of Democrats. If, that, if they ram that stupid thing through and 60% and, uh, of Americans, 65% don't like it, it's done. They're done. Hi, Dick. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. Coming next to Democrats.